Welcome back to American Agenda. Uh, before the break, we spoke with former U.S. Army interpreter um, right there, Fanu Malat. Mm -hmm. And his family's been stranded under Taliban rule in Afghanistan. And he's gone through numerous efforts to try to get them out of there. Uh, here to react and get their thoughts on this, Project 21 member and host of Money Talk with Melanie is mm -hmm. Melanie Collette and former Nevada State GOP chairwoman and Republican strategist Amy Tarkanian. Uh, Melanie, your thoughts uh, after hearing what um, the, the frustration that this gentleman is going through. His family is behind uh, the line, so to speak, and their life is at risk every single moment that we talk. Not sure Amy can I don't hear know. us. No, or that was Melanie. for Melanie. I can hear you. Okay, okay <laughs> Amy, same question to you. I think you can. Uh, we'll work to get Melanie. Uh, we could hear Melanie before, but I don't know if she can hear us. So, Amy, your, your thoughts on what you just heard. Well, it's devastating and it's absolutely terrifying. I, I could not even begin to fathom the, the, the danger that they are going through. Uh, I mean, I. I get nervous sometimes just walking through a parking lot in the evening alone by myself. I could not even begin to walk in these people's shoes. And it's disgusting and atrocious that the Biden administration and President Biden in particular, along with General Milley, have actually had empty promises, empty words. I mean, President Biden literally is an empty suit. The fact that he is on vacation in Delaware once again is mind blowing to me. Uh, and then the fact that you have the State Department still saying that it depends on how the Taliban behaves and that they're going to hold them accountable. Uh, are you kidding me? I mean, we all saw this coming a mile away. We knew that this hostage situation was inevitable. And we knew that these, that these lives, and now we know that it's not just maybe 100 or 200, it is thousands of lives that are at danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we're still working on on Melanie's shot, but uh, Bob and I were just out here talking about it. You know, it just to hear this interpreter now who here. put his life on the line alongside our U.S. troops um, for a couple of years and was made promises that you know he would be protected and his family would be protected. To hear him say that the State Department has not even responded to his request to get his family out is just really outrageous, and it's not acceptable when, you know, someone like me or, or anyone really is trying to do their part to help these people, and they're depending on uh, those people to put them in touch with these different groups on the ground of ex-military who are doing what they can to extract people. It's just not the way this should be happening. No, it's not. And, it, and it's devastating. It's going to, to take its toll for decades to come, because now we have no allies. No one's going to yeah. trust us uh, to have their back. No one's going to want to come and swoop in to try to help us because we're not going to reciprocate it, possibly. And, I mean, it, it just shows across the board in almost every poll. And usually polls are skewed to the left. And you see President Biden tanking within a month by roughly 10 points or more. It, it, it's, it's devastating. And it's sad yeah. that it came to something like this for even lots of Democrats to say, and I think it was in one poll, Four out of 10 Democrats are ready to bail on Biden. Yeah, I think it was two out of 10, to, to, to be fair about it, but uh, a huge number. And also, uh, just since you were bringing this up, Amy, uh, the Rasmussen poll, the latest 44 percent approving, 54 percent disapproving. It was kind of pretty much flipped that uh, a month and a half, mm -hmm. two months ago. Uh, Melanie, you, you heard us talking to uh, Fanu. I uh, wanted to get your thoughts on that situation. It is the, the saddest thing to see that there are, are allies and American citizens who are in this situation. And as the panelists alluded to earlier, and of course you and Heather have alluded to, you know, our allies are not going to trust us. And why would they? You know, I, I have a fair amount of liberal and Democrat friends who I'm speaking to, and they're in the same boat. Like they are, the fact that they're referring to this as a mess up and they're not exactly using those words it, it is very telling. Like we, we are not usually on the same page, but there seems to be a bipartisan consensus that the Biden administration has completely messed, that, messed this up. 
Never in American history have we ever had a situation where America has not stood up for people that we consider to be allies, and certainly not American citizens. It is the saddest, shocking, and, and, and really frightening thing to see as an American citizen. Yeah, I see that we have uh, Congressman uh, Walt on tonight at 6 p.m. on Spicer and Company. It'll be interesting to hear what he has to say now that we know that there are Americans there stranded, at least at that airport in Masri Sharif, who cannot, you know, regardless of which side you believe, if you believe that it's the Taliban or keeping them from leaving, or whether it's the State Department and some processing that they still need to do. There are six planes sitting there and Americans who cannot get away at this point. Um, Amy, just to wrap it up for us. Sure. Well, this is either incompetence or it's intentional or maybe it's a bit of both. Yeah. But I find it hard to believe that the State Department is still not, quote unquote, coordinating or cooperating with the Taliban. I think that the Taliban is running the show and it's very shameful. Yeah. All right. Melanie Collette, Amy Tarkanian, stand by. Yep. Uh, we're going to be back after this. Uh, President Biden promised to shut down the virus. So why are we seeing triple the number of cases this Labor Day weekend as last year? We'll talk about that next on American Agenda.